launch. Thank you. Uh, we finally see the pricing. A uh, couple of comments from our Facebook page about the pricing. They're a little worried that the prices are a little bit higher, especially for Zenfone 3, mm -hmm. uh, than what they expected. Mm -hmm. But can you justify uh, like this price increase of around $80 for the original Zenfone 2 to the Zenfone 3 right now? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, uh, we have the Zenfone 3. Actually, uh, our Zenfone 3, we have the target. Uh, our target is, uh, you know, in our presentation, you know, the A7, and another one is the, I can say that maybe it's an Oppo F1 Plus. Okay. So I think uh, uh, from our internal survey, our, our device uh, is much better in camera, in power consumption, in computing performance and from the beauty point of view it's uh, also pretty good so I think uh, uh, and from the like the spec is a uh, 4 gigabyte 64 gigabyte so when we compare to the like uh, Oppo like uh, Samsung we uh, we think we we are still in the you know in the luxury label, we, we increase the luxury label and uh, we are still pump, deliver our pumps in pound luxury for everyone. Okay. Uh, we saw the Zento, the lineup is pretty much complete, right? So you have the Zenfone 3 laser, the Max at yeah. the low end, mm -hmm. uh, the Zenfone 3 at the middle, and the uh, Ultra and the Deluxe at the high end. How about the very low? Low, low end. I okay. uh, used to have the Zenfone Go. Go. Yeah. So, will we be seeing that soon? Yeah, for sure. Uh, but uh, well, we don't do the launch for our Zenfone Go. Okay. Because, uh, but uh, again, for our Zenfone Go, we also want to uh, provide the, the 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 best in the beauty in that price segment. That means that we still have to go. Okay. And that's still very affordable. The the Zenfone Go will 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 also have the metal body, just like the Zenfone Three Laser, uh, uh, and the Zenfone Three uh, the uh, Zenfone Three Max. Will it uh, also have that, that same design uh, look? Uh, I think uh, <laughs> that's my <laughs> uh, that's under consideration. Okay, uh, but I can uh, discuss more about uh, our goal. Actually, we want to de deliver. The impact not to hold everyone. So, uh, your your way is my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so Jerry, want to ask you? I know it's already pretty much obvious that you give um, importance to the Philippine market, but I just want to get it straight from you on record. How does ASUS see the Philippines as a market, and what is the position of the Philippines in your marketing strategy currently? I think uh, uh, here. I think uh, uh, to me. Uh, is the smartphone or, or normal? For both. Uh, for both? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, to me, I, I step the market into the uh, four to five major segments, Ma major market. Okay. Uh, for sure, uh, China is one, US, United States is one, Western Europe is one, and Russia is the one. And Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. all together is one. Okay. And the uh, Philippines is, uh, is very important in the Southeast Asia. So, in my five major focus, Philippines is uh, very important for ASUS. That's, uh, so, this is why, uh, that is for the smartphone, uh, it's much more important than for the notebook. Even, but our notebook is also <laughs> the, the top one. In the rating wise, and the market share we are the number two, but the uh, number one in revenue. And what I heard from our people that our gaming notebook we grows a lot. So I think in the future we want to also deliver a very, very the best uh, gaming device in this market. Yeah. market Actually, overall, it's important. Yeah, your last ROG event in Manila. Yeah, uh, you know we have we have the 
the event in Marina and then to the to the states. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So nice to hear that you see us so very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Mr. Shan, uh, the Zenfone 3 Max, uh, I didn't expect to be priced this low. It's uh, uh, but um, I just found out that uh, it's not using a Qualcomm uh, processor. It's using uh, ah. a different processor. Uh, what made you make this decision to go for a non-Qualcomm processor for the Zenfone Max, uh, Zenfone 3 Max? Your question is the <laughs> question, but I think to me, uh, I think uh, we are open to actually. To me, and even until now, I still open to the Intel, but Intel give up. <laughs> and uh, uh, our conventional hope is the Coca. Mm. But uh, again, still, maybe some part of we we also accept the bigger take of the solution. But uh, the Max, you will see the Max uh, is not only one model. We have two, ma two Max models. Huh? Okay. And another. Next month will be Qualcomm. So okay. we we uh, attack both. So will the uh, will the second Max have a um, uh, because the, the previous the, the 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 first Max was uh, using the four ten Snapdragon processor. Mm. Are we going to see a Max that is uh, that has a faster Qualcomm processor? Would, sure. would, would it uh, take uh, use the sl a slower entry level Qualcomm uh, processor? Uh, I think. Uh, we will see a better process. Better process in the future. Uh, follow up, uh, just a, um, I'm surprised that this time you know mm -hmm. you have all these. Before you only have the Zenfone two at the highest price range of uh, in, the, in the Philippines that's worth sixteen thousand, and now you have phones that are worth thirty thousand plus here, competing with the Galaxy, the likes of the Galaxy S seven. Mm -hmm. Would we, would we see this? Uh, a, a continuous pattern in the in, in the coming years that there will always be so a segment for. I separate my uh, a smartphone. This is my strategy: separate the smartphone into two categories. One one category we call the important luxury for everyone, and the other category we call the top notch competition. Mm -hmm. So the top notch this time the top notch competition we have two models. One is the Pedax. One is the Ultra, but the Ultra is the it's just the six point eight. So the major the major one is the Pedax. Pedax we call the we are try to deliver the top notch competition. So uh, actually, this one I I want to share with you. The most difficult thing is not to put the S A twenty one inside. The most difficult thing is the the antenna yeah. yeah. Actually. With this antenna 9, we are our engineer, especially our RF engineer, uh, spend more than two months because of antenna. And more people, the, the resources almost double. And uh, two more months to achieve this, uh, this uh, invisible antenna. Because uh, with the invisible antenna, we, it, it, we call this the four metal, four metal. Um, pure beauty, pure, pure beauty. And for this one, I think I be, I predict in the next six next six months, maybe we are still we will be the unique unique one yeah, for, for this one. And the other the other thing. So this is a top competition from the beauty, from the performance, from camera camera. You know the Sony three one eight. Uh, Sony just announced their 318 in May. We are the first one to use the 318. <laughs> so this one, the another new one, S821, the first one to use. Sony 318, the first one to use. And invisible antenna, the first one with our way to try. And we are successful. And so, and even with the Wi-Fi, uh, I, we don't talk about Wi-Fi. We use the 2x2. Two Mimo. And this is our first try in the world. You can check nobody can support the 256 gigabyte US 2.0 storage. We are the first one. 
And so we have so many first ones that I think we can really uh, achieve that we call the top notch competition. And for this one, and now at this moment I'm using this this device. And for this one, I think uh, uh, the beauty. And I, I find I use this device. My first, my first thing, the first thing I'm very impressed is the power consumption. Actually, yes. I yes. know for the normal use after full, after fully charge, uh, full charge, I use it for two days, normal use, and still around like a ten to twenty percent. Yeah. So it's a, uh, somebody tested this device in Hong Kong. They use a Pokemon, Pokemon Go. <laughs> and uh, this one, our 5.21, even less than 3,000 3, milliampere battery. But uh, outperform for the Pokemon Go, outperform the 4,000 4, 4, wow. 4, watts. And uh, the user in Hong Kong, they posted it. So the power consumption is, the power consumption is not today. How are you able to do that, sir? Because okay. the, the capacity remains the same. Okay. Right? We are the first one to use the S620 process. Mm -hmm. This is the, the process, the 14 nanometer process. Mm -hmm. So uh, in, in our presentation, more than 35% power saving is real. And Actually, that's the core con contribution. Maybe contribute around seventy to eighty percent. Because others are our software. Right? Our con contribution, uh, how how same contribution. We also contribute. Uh, I, we, we, I I cannot disclose the how we we do. But uh, <laughs> okay. I think seventy percent, maybe seventy percent contribute from core and twenty to thirty percent contribute from our internal software tuning and everything. That's it. That's the way we, we have this one. So, sorry, 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 please continue. Sir. So this one, uh, I think uh, another one for the beauty, this one I like it uh, when I have this, this device. Yeah. First, I always feel, <laughs> feel the device, I use this way. And so comfortable. Yeah. You can, that's, so that's our actually, that's our comment in our the, the most fun, fun, if you are, you are the smart designer, you know the most difficult thing for beauty is the symmetry. Yes. This one, 2.5B here, 2.5B here, and metal. So it's 100% symmetry. So, so symmetry is very difficult. Is the, you know, uh, iPhone, iPhone 6 uh, still looks good because the almost a symmetry. And this one, I think is also symmetry. So symmetry is the another way for us to pursue. <laughs> but uh, we achieve this uh, symmetry, uh, the beauty. And pursue concentric circle is uh, another one can embody that. But the uh, symmetry is the very difficult for this one. Yes. Uh, sorry, Jerry, uh, we mentioned before that uh, the the uh, Deluxe was the first one to use the IMX318 and I believe I've reviewed it, the Zenfone 3 and the camera was really good but uh, do you still have any plans for uh, the next Zenfone Zoom? Uh, we, all, we have the plan for the Zoom uh, uh -huh. uh, but uh, uh, actually uh, I can. I, I, I can. I can. <laughs> <laughs> we are always in search of incredible <laughs> ideas and experience. Yeah. Actually, uh, uh, I'm sure you will see. Uh, As in, oh, next to. Okay, that's all. Uh, uh, to me, uh, I think always a challenge, and the, in beauty, the beauty challenge the beauty. The audio subsystem sound challenge the audio subsystem. Now all these subsystem. In our testing, even better, the new five megabyte audio speaker subsystem, mm -hmm. even better than the same or better than iPhone. Yeah. So audio subsystem, camera, and uh, how better that? That's the that's the key for us to 
and some other spiritual feature we we will we will we will consider about the schedule wise uh, now it's not the topic. Uh, I have a question regarding uh, the Windows notebooks. We know that uh, the market share of Windows is going down. Uh, do you plan on focusing on Android uh, devices? I mean, just focus, uh, focusing on, uh, I mean, the, the totality of the Windows uh, market, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, compared to other mobile operating systems, uh, Android is growing, uh, but uh, the Windows is actually on s still, I, I believe, or is still going down. So, uh, do you plan on focusing on mobile uh, very soon, or I mean, focusing just uh, mainly focusing on mobile compared to uh, your notebooks and other Windows devices? Uh, actually, uh, we are doing very well uh, for the Chromebook. You know, Chromebook, right? Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, we are doing good in the US uh, oh. for the Chromebook. Uh, Except the Chromebook, I think all other devices, I think uh, we think uh, uh, even for the notebook, this year I said the, the, the key theme, key topics for ASUS and uh, me and uh, Jim and Jan, we both we said the key topics for our notebook, we call that evolution. Uh, to execute the evolution, so I said the uh, general. I create a generation concept because the generation concept is from the smartphone. And every generation, this generation is better than previous generation, and next generation will be better than this generation. This we call the evolution. So, but in the past, for the PC, this year, PC and last year, PC only changed the processor. <laughs> Our Windows, the processor Windows. So, the evolution is not so obvious. Mm -hmm. But uh, from our generation three, maybe next year we have generation four, and two years well, what two years later we have the generation five. This generation concept is the evolution concept. So we think uh, with our innovation, uh, to to say to me that's important. One is innovation, one is the perfect user experience. Yeah. So user experience and innovation. I think. Uh, these two are the driving factor. I think we still have another chance to keep fresh in the PC. And another one is uh, like a gaming. Gaming is also another one mm -hmm. we try to address. So, so this kind of generation three notebook and the gaming uh, will be the key driving factor for the future growth of our PC, our our notebook. Okay. And sure. for the now Windows mm -hmm. uh, notebook. Uh, we are doing the Chromebook very well. Okay. Mr. Shen, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm actually a Transformer P100 user. Uh, and uh, now you have the Transformer P. Mm -hmm. But the price, range, the price range, especially between the P100 and the uh, Transformer P, is a big jump. And uh, yeah. some concerns from uh, users like myself uh, would like to ask if would, would uh, uh, would there be a um, cheaper transformer, uh, next generation transformer that would replace the P100? Those who are, you know, uh, who are into budget uh, two in one. Uh, I think we have the, uh, we have the another one we don't not hear. That that is not the generation three. We call the what what's the name here? Uh, the, we have the affordable oh, one. For, for for this one, we for this one. Uh, this is the more more expensive one. Yeah. This is the transformer three pro. It's a pro. But it's we pro. have the ten inch one. Yeah, not not here. Not here. Yeah. But we have the ten inch one, and that's uh, really more affordable. Mm -hmm. So for this this one, we we uh, put the three. Now means we try to we ignore the cost. Yeah. We want to make sure the per perfection level is very high. Yeah, yeah, right. So, so the, the cost is high because and the selling price is high. So the key competitor for this one is the Source Pro 4. Right. And the key competitor for this one is the Metal Pro. Right. This one. Uh, MacBook. Uh, no. 
Men book and men book air. Mm -hmm. the, the weight is only 910 grams. It's less than 920 uh, men book. And men book is only 12 inch. It's the 12.5. But 12.5 less than the weight is lighter than uh, men book. And we use the core I instead of core M. Mm -hmm. Men book use the core M. Yes. We use the core I. Core I7 is nothing. So the performance is much better than core M. And with the, the design, our performance is better than the 13, 50 gram MacBook Air. <laughs> so this is 19 gram. This is 13, 50 gram. And, uh, and, when, and I think two years ago, when I see the MacBook Air, so imagine. But now, if you see this one with the MacBook Air, the same core I and core I, you will see big difference. Mm -hmm. This uh, we call the evolution. Mm -hmm. So this one, the major com com the competition is the MacBook Air. But uh, we try to uh, approach the MacBook uh, beauty and try to uh, achieve the more than Mabel Air performance, my goal, and we achieve that. The, 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 the premium label, the beauty, is almost the same as the Mabel, but the performance is better than Mabel Air. Mm -hmm. So this, actually, in, uh, in, in George's presentation, we have the Mabel, we have Mabel Air. But uh, in, on Apple side, they provide two devices. We, we, we in our in our ideal we are uh, we take the 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 strengths the the, the, the strengths of MacBook the beauty is the, the strengths the thickness and nano bottom and we also take the strengths of the MacBook Air that's called in together so when you put two parameters together and it becomes very difficult to ask you but we have achieved that so this one we call this one as the innovator, mm -hmm. and this one as the challenger. <laughs> so, <laughs> so innovator, uh, because you know we we combine two ultimate device into one, and that's the that's the way. Thank you. I think we're all good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.